also need financing that is agile, that is flexible, especially that responds, that is climate sensitive, so that if there are shocks, that financial architecture must be responsive because climate change is the new normal. Switching from drought to floods progressively is becoming what it is. So the challenges are too many, but the opportunities are too many as well. Climate change is not only hindering, but it's changing the demographic uh, structure of the country as well. This is a challenge that we face everywhere. Because of the higher per capita income, in spite of the inequities that I have referred to, the high unemployment and high levels of poverty, we get funding that is um, quite pricey, uh, making it difficult for us to, to raise the adequate resources to fund development. The whole issue of profits, tax avoidance, in my view, uh, if you do business in Africa, you should pay taxes. Africa's interests, the countries of our continent interests, must be taken care of beginning with ourselves. We must get out of this room with a commitment, a conviction, that we can actually deliver what the continent wants and we are the ones to do that.